Roughly 78% of American commuters drive solo, which leads to more traffic and more emissions. But what if there were a vehicle that combined the convenience and efficiency of a motorcycle with the safety of a car? Well, that's exactly what I'm here in San Francisco to check out. Hey, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? I'm really excited to learn about this vehicle. What do you call this? Uh, we call this the C1. It's okay. a uh, pure electric, zero emission vehicle. The category name is called an AEV, like an auto balancing electric vehicle. What was the inspiration for the C1? How'd you come up with it? I used to be a Land Rover mechanic and I started building my own cars and I was laying underneath one of the frames, the chassis at night, and it fell down basically and uh, almost crushed my head. It really made me take a couple steps back and rethink. Do we really need a 5,000 pound vehicle for one person to go 28 miles to work? Not really. There are a lot of reasons why people don't like motorcycles. It's because they're dangerous and scary, but fun. There's also a huge efficiency aspect of a two-wheeled vehicle. But with a car, you get all the safety, you get the airbags, you get being fully enclosed and being in a comfortable driving position. So, um, you know, we really just kind of take all those uh, positive aspects of those two vehicles and kind of put them together and so fully enclosed electric self-bouncing dry stabilized two-wheeled car we figured this would be a good solution for any dense urban area you can slip through traffic and we believe this is the future of transportation so I have no idea how to drive a motorcycle. Okay. It kind of scares me. Would I be able to drive this without a lot of training? This actually just drives like a car. Drive it with the steering wheel. You have pedals for your brake and throttle. We have a special computer on board that has a stability algorithm. It's kind of like AI for balancing. There's a plethora of sensors that feed data into a center control module that outputs a control command to our gyros, which are these big spinning disks, and they move in a manner that creates stability and balance at all times. And it's what really keeps the C1 upright? Yeah. Can you show me how it works? Yeah, we have a couple right here. Yeah, oh, okay. come over here. This is our first gyro. And oh, okay. see how it spins? Yeah. You can pick it up. It's not too heavy. No, uh, not at all. Oh, God. Not at all. <laughs> but let me spin it for you. So you can tilt it like that. You can feel how it actually oh, doesn't wow. go in the way that you want. No, 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 it, it like resists. So the idea is there are two and they're spinning opposite. So if one's going clockwise, the other's going counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. If one tilts this way, the other tilts against exactly. it. Exactly, yeah, counter rotation, counter procession. That movement actually creates that, that counterbalance that keeps you upright. I see. It's really the center of our technology that is so groundbreaking and creates safety. It's very important. Yeah. <laughs> it's making me much less afraid of driving that. We'll keep you safe, thank you, promise. So. <laughs> cool. So, can I ride it? Yeah, sure, absolutely. All right, cool. Let's go outside. Yeah. I guess this is my moment of truth. This is it. Okay. Jump on in. Yep, it's four point harness. Yeah, let's go. You know how to do this. Here we go. Stabilizing. Lifting off. <laughs> So now you're bouncing. <laughs> oh my God. Right? Yeah. Or I can lean on you like this. Probably shouldn't like take my hands off the wheel out no. of fear. <laughs> this is so cool. So now you could drive off. All right. Here we All go. Right. See you later. What's the future of Lit Motors? Definitely looking to go into production. Uh, we're finding a man manufacturing partner, so we'll be able to get into higher volumes quicker. Right now, we're selling these for $24,000. It will include a body um, <laughs> and a really nice interior, but um, you know, hopefully it'll be significantly less. The next part's not as exciting, but it's more like how do we get it lighter, how do we make it safer, how do we make it faster. Having a vehicle like this, that's really gonna change the landscape just because you have more time, it costs less, you're polluting less, and uh, you're doing it on a sexy platform that's mildly magic. Just driving on the streets of San Francisco in a two-wheeled car, you know, like you do. It's gotta be a bright, exciting, inspiring future. <laughs>